We're here back at the Fantasy Bar. The All-Star break is over, and we are back with six of my favorite plays for you on FanDuel and DraftKings, including some of my favorite games and correlation plays on the slate tonight. I'm going to give you my favorite value play that feels about $1,000 underpriced over on DraftKings, and a beast of the night that has been dominating his opponent so far this season. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the Fantasy Bar. Welcome in, guys. Thursday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack NBA All Star Break finally over. We are back with a huge slate of games here on Thursday night. We have narrowed it down to six of my favorite plays. Thank you, as always, for stopping by, checking out today's video. Before we get to the plays, the housekeeping, the thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content, take a second, click that thumbs up button. Thank you very much for that. Subscribe to the channel. Don't miss any of the content we have added. Pints and picks for the NBA, giving you two of my favorite NBA bets on those videos so far. 4 0 on the first two videos. So make sure you are checking that out as well. Hit that notification bell and check out our NBA Sim Labs tool over on Roto Grinders and Fantasy Labs. Build lineups using simulations, projections in a matter of seconds. Great tool for our premium subscribers. If you're not already, get signed up or stay tuned later in this video for a chance to win. Some premium here from Roto Grinders. All right, let's get into it here. Big slate of games, a lot of injuries to navigate through. Any changes need to be made, as always, we will do so here in the comment section. All right, let's get started with one of our favorites. He's been very good to us. Going to go right back to the well here on Shooting Guard. Small forward, Buddy Heald of Philadelphia. Now, prices have moved up some. I don't think they've moved up far enough here on Buddy Heald. So let's take advantage here. This guy's been money in the bank for this Philadelphia team who desperately needs offense. With Joel Embiid on the sidelines, 20 or more points now for Buddy Heald in all four games since coming over to Philadelphia. But it's not just the scoring. He's getting it done as a distributor as well. This guy's averaging 7.5 assists per game over those first four with Philadelphia. So contributing in a lot of different ways here. Now the matchup here, not ideal. I get it. The Knicks, not a good matchup. But no OG Ananobi certainly lessens that concern here for me. And Heald has ripped off three straight games of 44 or more DraftKings points. So 6-7x. Definitely in his wheelhouse here against the Knicks. Love Buddy Heal tonight at these discounted prices on both sides. All right, let's go to the other side here with some correlation at shooting guard. Small forward with Dante DiVincenzo of the Knicks. Another guy that's quickly become a favorite here, just getting it done. This team needs offense. Julius Randle, such a big cog in what they do. He will be out along with the aforementioned OG Ananobi. So basically the offense runs through Jalen Brunson and Dante DiVincenzo here. These guys both taking a ton of shots here. In fact, DiVincenzo 20 or more shots in six of his last eight games. A ton of threes as well. This guy's jacked up at least nine threes in all eight games. Some of those games, we're talking 15, 16 three-point attempts here. 20 or more points now in seven of his last eight games. So it's really produced as a scorer for this New York Knicks team and for our DFS lineups and playing a boatload of minutes. We know this team loves to play their starters. 38 or more minutes now in every single game since Randall went down and has given us 40 or more DraftKings points in six of those eight games. Prices are up, no doubt. I think even Chenzo continues to pay it off. Get him in those Thursday night lineups. All right, let's get you some value at the point guard position with Trey Mann of Charlotte. Great revelation here for the Hornets. LaMelo Ball been in and out of the lineup, but Trey Mann coming over in that trade with Gordon Hayward from OKC and has really been productive in those games. Across his first three games, we are talking almost 36 DraftKings points per game. This guy's get it done in so many ways. The scoring, the assists, the rebounds, the steals. So a lot of pass to fantasy success here or Trey Mann, but the biggest path here tonight, the matchup with the Utah Jazz. This team's been awful defensively, especially against point guards. No team giving up more fantasy points or assists per game to the point guard position than the Utah Jazz. Let's take advantage of that tonight with the discount we're getting here on Trey Mann. All right, more correlation to the other side of that game at power forward center, John Collins of the Jazz. Now Collins, one of those guys, not the sexiest play on the board. I get it, kind of boring, but this guy has been putting numbers on the board here so let's go with some correlation here and let's attack this matchup as well against this charlotte interior something we've been doing for years not going to stop now and collins has been getting it done double doubles in seven of his last 11 games and we talked about how bad defensively this charlotte team is 29th in defensive efficiency overall and we know against bigs it can be even worse we're talking bottom six in fantasy points allowed to both power forwards and centers 
and bottom two against centers. So great matchup here for John Collins. Price is more than fair in the low sixes on both sides. Let's continue to attack this week, Charlotte Hornets interior. All right, speaking of centers, let's go there with my favorite center play. We're talking Yaka Pirtle of Toronto. This guy been dealing with some injuries, but he's been back and been delivering some big games at these mid-range prices here. Now the game logs certainly have a roller coaster feel to them. So cash games, maybe you feel a little iffy about Yaka Pirtle, I understand that, but in tournaments, Big time upside here, four double doubles for him over the last seven games. And the upside we mentioned, multiple games of 43 or more DraftKings points, games in the 50s as well. So now we're talking that seven, eight X return that we are looking for in your tournaments. Matchup so-so here with Brooklyn, but I see a big game on the horizon here. Yaka Pirtle, certainly gonna be a big part of my builds here on Thursday night. All right, it's time. Take a look at my favorite play for Thursday night. Before we do that, let's run it back on our Beast of the Night contest. Easy to play. All you gotta do, click that thumbs up button and head to the comment section and guess fantasy points on DraftKings tonight. For my Beast of the Night, whoever's guess is the closest, we are gonna give you an absolutely free week of a Roto Grinders Premium just for hanging out here in the Fantasy Bar. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play for Thursday night. You know, Matt's the Beast of the Night. All right, Beast time, we've stayed in the mid-range, gave you some value so we could spend up here at point guard, shooting guard with Devin Booker of Phoenix, tonight's Beast of the Night. So this is certainly a game that we are gonna wanna target here tonight, close spread, huge total, something we are always looking for when we are spending this kind of money. And Devin Booker, the guy I wanna do that on here tonight, Dallas has really struggled with shooting guards. We're talking bottom six in almost every single category, points, rebounds, assists, and fantasy points to this position, two matchups, already in the books for these two teams. And Booker's been flat out dominant, averaging 33 points per game, five rebounds and six and a half assists in two games. Good spot here for Devin Booker. There's one guy I'm spending up on here tonight. It is Devin Booker against the Dallas Mavericks. Easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's piece of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for Thursday night here, talking some NBA in the Fantasy Bar. As always, any comments, questions, or feedback, you know where to find me. Hit me up in that YouTube comment section can also follow me on Twitter at BeermakersFan. Don't forget your guests for fantasy points on DraftKings for Devin Booker for a shot at some free Roto Grinders Premium for RotoGrinders.com. I am Beer saying salut, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for Pites and Picks with two of my favorite NBA bets also coming out later today. Good luck tonight. Go win some money. We'll be back again tomorrow with two more videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.